The Sale Bay issue is a familiar one to city council members. During the last five years, it's been acted upon dozens of times, delayed every time. At the center of the controversy are encroachments on public beaches. Many homeowners have built private docks and patios on public land. Some of those homeowners are former public officials. Under the recently unveiled master plan, all of the private docks and piers must go to make way for a new 10-foot wide extension of Bayside Walk. It will extend from here around the bay to Crown Point. The beach will also be widened. The plan also calls for more than 100 new parking places in the area and recreational facilities. Proponents of the plan say after 50 years of almost exclusive private use, it's about time the beach area went public. They think it's unfair that the public has been denied access, that there have been private piers extending over a public beach, and they think it's basically unfair that the, uh, the so-called special interests have prevailed over the public interest for, for a number of years. According to city officials, most of the residents here have already ripped out their private docks and piers or have agreed to do so by the fall of 1982. But there are still six homeowners who are refusing to comply. They've hired an attorney and will take it to court to try to get the project stopped. City council chambers are expected to be packed with both groups. The city council will take its final vote on the matter on May 27th. Paula's on News 8, Sale Bay.